So more is told of a genealogy than of the day of judgment. Little wonder Allah says, so woe to them who write the book with their own hands. Then they say this is from Allah. That they may reap some small reward, some benefit. So woe to them for what their hands do write. And woe to them for what they earn. Stories are half told. I'm still con I'm only giving you explanation because the man has spoken beautiful words and phrases. I want to tell you now, look how nice he's putting all these things. So stories are half told. And the night falls. I mean, there's a close. Before we can tell, we virtually, what happened? What's the outcome? Hmm, nothing. You know nothing. <laughs> I give you. Matthew. Matthew. Chapter 27, verses 52 and 53. It speaks about wandering corpses, corpses, you know, dead bodies coming out of the graves and walking the streets of Jerusalem. And the graves were opened, the graves were opened, and many bodies of the saints, you know, those goodly people that were dead and buried for centuries, many bodies of the saints who had fallen asleep, means they were dead, were raised. And coming out of the graves, after his resurrection, after his alleged resurrection of Jesus Christ, they went into the holy city and appeared to many. Left, right, left, left. They marched into Jerusalem. These dead people, they came out with their napkins or with their shrouds or the skeletons and they walked the streets of Jerusalem. That's what Matthew says. But out of the 27 books of the New Testament, amazing, he's the only guy who saw it. Can you imagine? Look, people walking, dead people coming out of the graves. From your graveyard here. What graveyard? And you're walking down Claremont or, or here at Dali Street. And nobody sees it. No newspaper except one guy somewhere. Can you imagine such a situation? Nobody as I was. And then what happened to them? Look, they just tell you they came out and they walked the streets. What happened? Did they go and find the wives and children? Hmm? Go to bed again with them? What, what did they do? Or did they go back to into the grave? If they did, why would they want to go back? Huh? Once you got freedom from the grave, you want to go back? What happened, man? Tell us! No. Story closed. Finish. No more. Not one word more by Matthew or by anybody else. I should. Another, just one verse. Book of Judges. Judges. This is the name of another book in the Bible. Chapter 3, verse 31. I'm reading. So after him, after him was Shamgar. Never heard the name before. Shamgar, the son of Anath, who killed 600 Palestinians with an ox code. And he also delivered Israel. One Jewish boy with this stick. I read about this stick first, you know, when I was young. I am reading the book of Acts in the New Testament, chapter 9, verses 4 and 5. This is Paul was going to Damascus and he hears a voice, supposed to be the voice of Jesus from heaven. He says, Saul, Saul, why persecutest thou me? Why are you worrying me? Why kickest thyself against the pricks? So, man, he says, What is this? What kind of a holy book is this? So I started going and asking priests, what is this? Nobody could tell. Nobody, nobody. Now in the newest, latest, new test, a new, new latest Bible, the King James Version, they said gold. Why kick us ourselves against the gold? I'm asking, do people know what is a gold? Nobody knows. So I said, look, this is a gold. This is a cattle prodder, you know, to make the cattle. Ox wagon, you know, the days of the ox wagon. And the poor thing is going slow, slow, so you give it a one... This is a spike stick. This is a stick with a spike in the front. They call it a cattle prodder, call it a goad, call it what you like. With this one stick, one Jewish boy killed 600 Palestinians. With this stick. I want to know what were the Palestinians doing. Hey, damn fools, why did they run away, man? I'm asking this Palestinian, Dr. Anish Shorosh, I'll ask him. I said, look, tell me, man. 
What were you people doing? If you only spat on that guy, who would have suffocated? <laughs> anyway, with this stick, you can't destroy 600 snowmen. You know that? With this stick. You believe that? I say, you believe that? Once you believe that, psychologically, you are a defeated people. Gone for good. You can never stand up for the Jews. Never. Because if God Almighty had this destiny for you, that one Jewish boy can kill 600 of you, one little David killed a giant Jalud. The Jews, they make a big story of it. The Christians make a big story of it, and we make a big story of it. We say, Wakatala Dawud or Jaluta, and Dawud kills Jalud. Okay. This guy, he beats the whole band lot. He kills 600 with a stick, and nobody knows about it. Nobody, by God, I tell you, ask any Christian missionary, I say, you know Shamgar? Ask him, you know Shamgar? Who's that? 